Thai tea. I've been on a kick lately. This stuff's amazing. What is up? I hope everybody is doing well. I don't know if you can tell, but I went for just the mustache look. I'm kind of liking it. Top Gun 2 inspired me. Anyways, yeah, today this video is going to be, as you can tell by the title, about Racker Finn, my jewelry collection. So if you don't follow my Instagram or the brand Instagram or any of my other socials, then my second collection of Racker Finn has officially dropped. It's, avail it's available for you guys if you're interested in it. If not, totally fine. Um, but yeah, it is now available and I thought I would just kind of show you guys some pieces, talk about the backstory of it real quick, and let you guys know. So there are six pieces in the collection, and one of them is a fan favorite that made its way back. It is going to be this pearl necklace for you guys right here. This is just a freshwater pearl necklace with some natural jade in it. And what I love about it is it's just a very classic design, and it has a little bit more of a uniqueness to it with the jade mixed in. So you're getting a pearl necklace, but you're also getting just a little extra as well. So this made it come back. Second necklace is one of my personal favorites and is also one of the best sellers going on right now. This is the ripped playing card necklace. Um, it's got some very natural red agate in it. I say agate, it might be a jate, but it's called, for me, a gate. And what's really awesome about it is you're going to get so many different natural colors in it. No one stone is the same, so you're going to get a truly unique necklace um, if you decide to get something like this. I also mixed in some freshwater pearls in it. And of course, the ripped playing cards, which are a custom um, variation of a Racker Finn playing card. So instead of like the King, Queen, Jack, Ace, it's going to have RF on the sides. Just thought it'd be a little cool touch. Um, but it's the diamond, the club, the spade, and the heart as well. But I think this is a very unique piece and um, it's one of my personal favorites. The third necklace is this one right here. You can't get a really good look at it, but in the B-roll you will. It is called the Lucky You Pendant. It has a four-leaf clover. It's got the words Lucky You written on it, you know, four-leaf clover, luck, why not? And then just the branding of Racker Finn as well on the bottom. It has really cool details on the sides, kind of like a clock face, if you will. And it's just one of those things that I really wanted to kind of pay homage to, almost like a vintage bottle cap. And um, this is kind of what I came up with. And I think it goes well with the collection's theme as well. So just a nice little pendant that sits there and acts as its own little statement piece. Moving on from necklaces, I wanted to make a bracelet for this collection and I did. This is the one that I came up with. Um, it's inspired by one of my grandma's bracelets that she actually had when she was younger. And what I went with was just basically a very vintage inspired circular linked bra bracelet really. Once again, it has natural green stones in it, so you're gonna get a different kind of marbling effect. You're gonna get a different look with each stone, so not not one stone is the same. You're always gonna have a different stone when it comes to this. And one of my favorite things is I wanted to kind of stand out from the traditional necklaces and bracelets of the world, so I actually have custom branded um, box clasps with the RF logo on it. And then we just have these two rings on the, uh, well, my right, your left, is going to be the checkerboard ring. Um, and then on the middle finger is going to be just the vintage cross ring. Um, with the checkered ring, I think it's really awesome. It's all enamel, it's silver and enamel. So you're gonna get this racing flag, checkered board type of vibe. And the sterling silver vintage cross ring is basically just what that is. Um, I was heavily inspired by chrome hearts and I wanted to come up with like a vintage uh, cross that would go well with the rest of the collection and that is what I came up with right here. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Now with all these pieces I wanted there to be a little bit of a theme with this second collection and I don't know if you could tell but this theme definitely heavily revolves around kind of the, in my mind, like the wild wild west, the saloons of the day. Um, where there's going to be board games, there's going to be poker games, there's going to be a bunch of this like natural wild element of like the natural stones that I use and stuff like that. So a lot of it is heavily inspired by this, you know, early 1900s, late 1800s type of wild, wild west vibe with the cross ring, with the checkered board ring, with the kind of like old bottle cap pendant with the lucky you pendant, obviously with the ripped playing cards that kind of signifies those card games. And the reason why I did that is because the first pendant necklace that I ever had, my grandpa gave to me because his grandpa won it back in like 1905 in a poker game in a saloon. So I was like, let's make a collection kind of revolving around that. So 
that's kind of my idea with the collection and going forward I want to have themes kind of revolving around the collections um, and stuff like that so like I said in the beginning of the video if you weren't following any of, any of my socials um, the collection is now available for you guys I know a lot of people really wanted the pearls when they missed out it missed out on it on the first collection so now they are available again now so yeah just a quick little video recapping everything letting you guys know and um, showing my appreciation for you guys and the support that you, you've shown me over the past years. I really appreciate it, but there's a lot more coming from Rackerfin and not just jewelry. Oh, let me show you a sneak peek. <clears throat> I've been working on something right here. This is just a first sample, but lucky you. This is from the pendant, so I also put it on a jacket, but yeah. Just something for the future for you guys to get excited for and for, for me to get excited for. But yeah, thank you for everything. I appreciate it. Um, Racker Friends available, and I'll talk to you guys soon.